the electron microscope and the discovery of the structure of the DNA, the conclusion reached by modern-day paleontology, these alone were sufficient to tear down the already unsteady foundations of the theory of evolution proposed by Darwin. However, one of the most blows to the theory of evolution came only recently from the field of biochemistry. According to Michael Behe, a professor of biochemistry at Lehigh University in Pennsylvania, it is impossible for the complex organs in living things to have come about by means of natural selection and mutations, which shows that the cell was created. It's really interesting to notice that the more we know about life and the more we know about biology, the more problems Darwinism has and the more disease becomes apparent. For the longest time, I believe that Darwinian evolution explains what we saw in biology. Not because I saw how it could actually explain it, but because I was told that it did explain it. In, in schools, I was taught Darwinian biology. And through college and graduate school, I was in an atmosphere which just assumed that Darwinian evolution explained biology. And again, I didn't have any reason to doubt it. It wasn't until about you know, 10 years or more ago that I read a book called Evolution, a Theory and Crisis by a, a geneticist by the na name of Michael Denton, an Australian. And he put forward a lot of scientific arguments against Darwinian theory that I had never heard before. And, and the arguments uh, seemed pretty convincing. And at that point, I, I started to get a bit angry because I, I thought I was being led down the primrose path. Here were a number of very good arguments, and I had gone through a, a doctoral program in biochemistry, became a faculty member, and uh, I had never even heard of these things. And so from that point on, I became very interested in, in the question of evolution. And, and uh, since have decided that Darwinian uh, processes are not uh, the whole explanation for life. In his book, Darwin's Black Box, The Biochemical Challenge to Evolution, Behe describes how in Darwin's time, the living cell was a black box whose contents were unknown. And the unraveling of the details within the cell, it emerged that it was actually a very complex structure. The powerful evidence in Behe's book was greeted with despair among evolutionist circles, and the work itself was soon being discussed by well-known media organizations. One of the points most concentrated on by Behe is that of irreducible complexity. According to Darwin's assumptions, complex organs in living things, such as the eye, ear, and heart assumed their forms by means of minute and gradual changes over billions of years. Scientific research reveals, however, that it is impossible for these organs, and in particular for the molecular machinery inside the cell, to have developed in stages. These are very complex structures of a combination of small components. The system will serve this at all if any of those components fails to fulfill its function. With these compound structures, these organs and systems possess a complexity that cannot be reduced to a simpler form.